A few thousand students travel to Brockenhurst College every day to get to their lessons, arriving either by train, bus, car or motorbike. But what is the best? Around 400 to 500 students drive, 1,000 get the bus and another 1,000 get the train, leaving around 500 students who walk or get a lift from someone else. These different modes of transport have their advantages but also disadvantages due to the weather, or the cost or reliability. But we wanted to find out personally from the students what they thought about their transport to Brockenhurst College. Buses get quite cramped uh, and all that, but a train is quite comfortable and it's fast. Well, if I had the choice of infinite money, I'd drive, but I don't, so train. Um, I'm lazy, so driving lets me leave a little bit later, whereas the train either gets me in half an hour early or like five or ten minutes late. So I normally have to get up a bit earlier and it takes a little bit longer. We also interviewed Travel and Finance Coordinator Ben Thompson. Depending where you're travelling from, we, we have 15 to 16 dedicated college bus services. They travel from Salisbury, Ringwood, Portsmouth, uh, sorry, Bournemouth, Southbourne, that sort of area. The majority are waterside and local though. Alternatively, you can get a scholar's pass from Southwest Trains through ourselves, which could be from anywhere effectively from sort of Dorchester South through to Basingstoke, North of Salisbury, Southampton, Limington Central, Limington Town, that sort of thing. Uh, train tickets through ourselves obviously, but ferry passes would be purchased through White Link or Red Funnel. And then we'd provide you with the scholars pass on the train from either Central, Southampton or Limington Pier. Trains do obviously, being trains have issues with wet weather, strong winds, that sort of thing. Buses are more reliable but are subject to traffic so we might have an accident or a road might be closed and that would affect when it arrives. Brockenhurst College has reached its 100th anniversary. We can only imagine how the travel to college will change in the next 100. Ben Clark for Brock News.